इस ए एन एन न्यूज ब्रीफ गुड मॉर्निंग आम लुसी आदे एमी Nigeria's Minister of Health Ehanire Osage says there is possibility Nigeria may exit the second wave of coronavirus because of fewer cases being reported daily on the global and national COVID-19 monitoring graph. Ehanire expressed the hope on Monday during the daily press briefing of the Presidential Tax Force PTF on COVID-19 in Abuja. The minister said the number of cases is declining and that all hands are on deck in response to the outbreak of Ebola in Guinea. Meanwhile, Director General of the Nigeria Centers for Disease Control, Chikwe Ihekwazo, says a new variant of COVID-19 has been detected in Nigeria and 15 other countries. The strain has not been reported as a variant of concern. NCDC confirmed 542 COVID-19 cases on Monday, bringing the total reported cases to 152,616, including more than 1,800 deaths. Thousands of Algerians took to the streets on Monday to mark what they call the second anniversary of protests. Police were deployed at the protest, which is a continuation of a series of marches in the country. Algerians marched in the nation's capital, Algiers, and other cities to mark the second anniversary of the anti-government protest movement known as Hirak. It is said to be the largest gathering in Algeria since the suspension of the Hirak protests in March last year because of coronavirus. The same movement forced the resignation of Algeria's longtime president, Abdelaziz Bouteflika, but has continued to call for the removal of the political elite. Protesters chanted peace, freedom and democracy and held up signs saying a civilian-led country, not a military one. We'll be right back. We are on the road every day, canvassing throughout Africa for news you really need. We follow this story everywhere, from every corner of Nigeria to the wide African expanse. We bring you what's making headlines. We connect you with news you can use. ANN, African News Network, in a truly African spirit. Guinea is set to begin Ebola vaccination campaign after bad weather caused a delay on Monday. A flight carrying 11,000 vaccine doses was diverted to another country because of Saharan dust storm. The plane carrying World Health Organization supplied vaccines was unable to land at the Conakry Gebesier International Airport on Sunday and was forced to divert to Dakar, Senegal. Guinea confirmed the resurgence of the Ebola epidemic on February the 14th. The new cases were reported in the southeastern Izerikora area where at least six, uh, six persons have already been killed by the virus. Guinea's health ministry said on Facebook it planned to fly the supplies from Dakar on Monday and start the vaccination rollout one day late on Tuesday. The Guinean government is stepping up efforts to combat Ebola outbreak after at least 10 persons have contracted the disease. That is ANA News Brief at 11. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adeyemi.